In this video, we're gonna see if Makita's 14 inch concrete saw will cut concrete. We're gonna see if I can fit through a small door and if Harley can mix a bunch of concrete. Put it on stun. You ever cut concrete? Uh, we cut a lot of it. Sure seems like it. Um, we have multiple different chop saws, steels, but when you're in a confined area, you can't be choking yourself out with a gap. We figured we'd give this one a shot right here, this Makita. It actually has really good um, ratings. So as far as your depth, we're gonna be all the way down. <laughs> I guess you could start. Let's is see. that a millimeter? Is that degree? Oh my goodness! Is that what are we gonna do? What, what? I don't even understand what that means. Come on, Makita. Don't you know everyone in the states, as far as that goes, everyone in the world switching over to fractional? <laughs> that's what I say. No, that's how I say. If you like this video so far, hit the subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Checking out full depth. It looks like it's 14 and 7 eighths. 14 and that's, 7 eighths? Yeah, that's... Did I say 14 and 7 eighths? It looks like it's 14 and 7 eighths. Hey, it's got the, the metric has me all messed up. We're at 4 and four 7 eighths. <laughs> But either way, um, cool. That's going to get you through most pieces of concrete because especially if you have a low area. Even six inch is like... Yeah, because yeah, that, that could get you through. That's going to get you really close for six inch concrete. Or and and you can snap the, some the end of it yeah. and then touch it up with a grinder. Oh yeah, I noticed this one. Rocks the angle like if you're closer to a wall. Well, they don't have. All right, so we've been messing around with this before we even had it down. Yep. And we decided to lighten it by quite a bit. We realized that they got these rollers here. Yeah. And it looks like the only purpose is they realize people that do concrete work are, are wild. They have to improvise. And when these rollers are in here, they don't do anything. So. Yeah, I think I'm going to run it this way. It comes with this right here, which fits Makita hose perfect. I don't know what size the... Is it? Yeah. All right, so there's, there's a little learning curve on this saw, so I'll, I'll tell you. Um, I've ran a lot of larger tools and this one, uh, I'm not, it didn't scare me. And not, I, it's not like one of those tools. It's just, uh, you got a man up, um, woman up, whatever. You get, you're going to have to grab right hold of this thing and it's, uh, it's, it's powerful. The dust collection. Um, you saw the previous clip there. You saw some dust getting kicked up. It's not that bad. As soon as the blade gets sunk in and you figure out where the vacuums need to be going, it's not that bad. Now, mind you, it, you're going to see right here, it looks clear. I mean, there's very little dust. We got two air scrubbers going in the background, plus we have a fairly large duct, a blower with a duct. So we're setting pretty good as far as ventilation. But man, this is a small confined area. The saw itself has more than enough power from what I saw. Um, it, it's actually quite a bit more power than I thought and it's super buttery smooth. Now as soon as you touch that grinding wheel to the concrete that smoothness is all gone but the grinder itself is smooth and you're, you'll be blown away by it. So yeah this is a cool tool. Glad we got it. Okay, so interesting thing about this saw is I was reading the comments and there was a fellow that was on there stating that he scraps cars using this. He said he's scrapped like $20,000 worth of cars with this uh, with a metal blade. 
<laughs> I thought that was a clock. Either way, sounded like a grandfather clock. Yeah. Um, either way, uh, yeah, I guess you could use one of them for that. I don't see why. I, I went on there and looked. You easy enough could put a, a blade on there and you could be a EMT or rescue guy. I don't know. Hey, come check this out. So when we dug out underneath of that footing, which is actually like right here on the other side, we wanted to take some of the burden off that footing. So we went up to the bottom of the joist See if you can see up there, we threw a two by four. We had, we couldn't run it continuous because of the copper pipes, but, and we came directly below the joist. I threw a two by 10 down and we cut these oak shims. Let me hide behind there, get out of there so you can see them. And then we use them as wedges. Yeah, I know you can buy shoring jacks. We'll buy them eventually, but <clears throat> that way, um, that footing wasn't hanging out there just suspended well it actually kind of is but it's not bearing weight we took the majority of it off of that so if you like this video smash that like button it helps the algorithm what is an algorithm mm -hmm. can you help me down all right you're looking at what the Makita did I mean came up with this cut straight down it actually didn't do that it got us got us pretty close we had to we had to finish that with um a cup grinder we, we were able to get about an inch and a half away and then we turned the big guy sideways and cut a whole bunch of slits and knocked it out with a chipping hammer finished up with cup grinder and yeah we got our footings done uh grade is set down in there so we are ready to throw some concrete in here in the morning vapor barrier that's actually that's an x isn't it yeah vapor then barrier. we got to carry a concrete down yep and then we're just going to throw it on the hole i'm not even spending <sighs> that's time to be, mix it that is going to be great yeah barrier down are we ready to do concrete no we're not oh come on oh i gotta do rebar rebar uh, all right let me get out and oh that's actually oh, I brought but thing. for the past while i have been working on breaking the bags up oh okay cool so how close are you i'm ready i just gotta cut these this rebar i'm ready to rock and roll That's right, you're watching us use a mixer. So this is a handheld Ruby Thinset Mixer. And uh, it just works. You, um, I mean, it's got two speeds and even on both speeds, man, this is on low. It's got a tremendous amount of power. Uh, we needed a real low slump uh, mix for going up underneath that footing, that existing footing. So it needed to be dry to where we could pack it up underneath there with a 2x4 and it wouldn't run out. So the mixer is the way to go. If you don't have an actual portable mixer where we couldn't get it down here, we had to improvise and using a wheelbarrow, mixing it with shovels and hoe. That's a no-go. That would, that would just kill you. say that's good um yeah are we done yeah yeah we're done for the day for the day and then we gotta do the strips down through there yeah we gotta we gotta build them walls in there with concrete mm -hmm. but that's not that big a deal we can easily do that we've done it okay see you